Thanks for joining us. Two University of Minnesota wrestlers are in jail tonight in the midst of a sexual assault investigation. The two men were arrested late last night. Lou Raguse talked with the attorney for one of the suspects. Joining us now with more details. Hi, Lou. Hi, and this all started with the St. Paul Police Department investigating and ended with Minneapolis police arresting the men last night. Now we're not naming the wrestlers right now because they've not been formally charged. Two University of Minnesota wrestlers in the Hennepin County Jail face the possibility of criminal sexual conduct charges, but the attorney for one of them says it's too early to know if charges will be filed. Well, first of all, what is the accusation? As we understand it, there are allegations of criminal sexual conduct, but that's all we know. So to the extent that my client knows that he didn't do anything like that, he hasn't done anything wrong. Does he deny the accusation? Absolutely. Attorney Krista Groshek says her client doesn't just deny the accusation, he's cooperating with police. All I can tell you is that my client has cooperated with the investigation and that he's made statements to law enforcement, and he did that because he didn't think he had anything to hide. The University of Minnesota Athletic Department released a statement saying, we are aware of a situation involving two of our student athletes and are in the process of gathering more information. These students have been suspended from all team activity pending further information. Federal and state law precludes any further details at this time. Groshek says she hasn't seen any reports yet and doesn't have any further details about the allegation. But she says her client didn't think it would end with him under arrest. He's shocked and the family's shocked. All I would stress is that my client denies the allegations. The investigation is ongoing and we don't even know if charges will issue. Charges may be declined. The Hennepin County Attorney's Office has until Tuesday to decide whether to charge the wrestlers or they'll be released from jail. The U of M Athletic Department has seen two other high-profile sexual assault investigations in recent years, one involving a basketball player, the other involving several football players. Those investigations did not result in criminal charges but did end with discipline within the university. We have a lot of details that still need to come out yeah. on this one, though. All right, Lou, thank you.